Good afternoon. This is my video reflection on the unit um, assistive technology, which is one of those um, concepts where the, the name of it actually describes it in really good detail. So basically it's technology that assists a child with a disability, whether it be cognitive or physical, be successful in a classroom. Very important, as mentioned in the article, as there is a definite shift um, towards integrating as many students as possible, special ed students, those with cognitive physical disabilities, into mainstream classrooms um, at schools across the country. So, also important to to note here that uh, technology doesn't necessarily mean, you know, for example, the webcam that we're using now or the service tablet that we're using now not just computers, something high-tech. could be something as simple as a pencil grip, um, a highlighter, um, a wheelchair, um, a bigger table. are all examples of assistive technology. Subtitles um, on a video is assisted technology, whether it be for a student who is deaf or a student who struggles with English. The video really does a great job, I think, of describing why um, some students just or some children just can't learn without it. Um, you know, those who are deaf or those who are blind, um, if they need the wheelchair to get to the classroom, that is assistive technology. For others, it can enhance performance, um, remove stress, create independence, which I feel is probably one of the most important things, allows these students to feel accepted. Um, for want of a better word, to uh, to be normal. Um, I apologize if that's the incorrect terminology to use, but I hope you understand the point. Helps with self-esteem and would generally just helps them um, become adults, which is one of the goals of school, I believe. Um, and then also don't forget with um, IDEA, or Individuals with Disability Education Act, it's also federal law to provide assistive technology. I've had several uh, examples um, when I was teaching. I um, had a student who was legally blind. So before we had the one-on-one -on -one technology with the Chromebooks that I've talked about quite a lot, um, I had to create handouts um, with a large font. Basically, it was taking our regular copy machine and creating copies just for this particular student. That is an example of assisted technology copy machine was able to produce handouts. This was before the age of computers and such like um, of a larger font. Um, had a child who was legally deaf, had a hearing aid, um, so she was placed in front of the class and then once the Chromebooks came around we used some um, technology that added audio to the lectures. So that was actually pretty cool. So I was able to talk and she had the headphones and she was able to listen that way. Then I also had a child um, with severe multiple sclerosis in a wheelchair. Excellent example of integrating children with severe disabilities into the mainstream classroom. Um, this particular student had a wheelchair. So my assistive technology, obviously I didn't provide the wheelchair for them, but I had to have a table and not a desk. So they were able to get in and out, make sure that they were next to an electrical socket. Um, and then there was some adaptive technology on the computer, especially the keyboard. It's very similar to the to the video um, at the company that had the larger QWERTY keyboards and such like. So I've had some ex, um, experience with this, especially like the Dynavox, the voice recognition. Um, Use that with the legally deaf student. Um, so I really, really like that part. So the examples I've had of the uh, applications, number one, mobility. So the wheelchair for my student with multiple sclerosis, um, making sure that they had a table. Basically it was once all my regular students were in the classroom, we had to put the table out right by the door. So they, he came in right into the door and wheeled his wheelchair underneath the table. Communication, so I had the audio for my legally deaf student. And then uh, existence, um, so large copies for my student who was actually legally blind. 
Um, the one thing I did some I did some looking around and uh, something very simple, which I'm use as my example of assistive technology, talking calculators. Um, I looked at uh, Assistech, which is a division of Maxi Aid. Simple yet effective um, calculators where when you punch in the whatever function you're doing, reads it out loud to you. So this would be awesome for kids with low vision or even kids who struggle um, with a second language. So that's the example I like to use. Thank you.